Make noise. Like. <laughs> there. Ah. there. <laughs> Just. And this is the hand. And this is our. Two our, idiots can. And this is our fringe show. <laughs> <laughs> then self high fives go wrong. <laughs> I am, of course, Lord Felton Harcourt Osgood from the Third. Welcome back to me's vlog. Very good to have you all here. Yes, indeed. Uh, I suppose you're all wondering what this is. Uh, this is my spirit animal. Her name is Leopold. Yes, her is a combination of the words his and her. It is spelled H-I-R. You can tell by the pronunciation. What do you know? My point is that spirit animals are androgynous. Anyway, everybody has a spirit animal. They embody your hopes and dreams and are the physical manifestation of your deepest desires and thoughts. Nice. <gasps> Listen! When they speak to you, it's a magical experience. Do you really think so, Leopold? It's too bad that the language of the spirit animals isn't translatable to English and thus cannot be subtitled so you can understand it. Yeah, that's right. What in the world are you holding a pink tuna? It's a dolphin and it's my spirit animal! Spirit animals are not real! Yes they are and mine's a dolphin! It makes perfect sense. What do you have in common with a dolphin? If I had a spirit animal, it would be a shark. That would make sense. Why would that make sense? Because it would eat your stupid dolphin. No, it wouldn't. It would sit down. Ah! No! No, Leopold, no! No! Oh, where am I gonna get spiritual guidance now? Where will I go? What will I do? Such sweet sorrow. <gasps> huh? <gasps> Le Leopold? You're alive! Leopold, you're alive! Oh, Leopold, you're alive! You're alive! Yes? No, Leopold! No! Leopold! Oh, for Pete's sake, you're hallucinating! What? Of course there's another from it! You've known him your whole life! He's your bleeding brother! Could it be true? I told you not to eat those spoiled babies that were in the icebox! They were weeks old! You got bloody food poisoning! Oh. Uh, right. I knew that. So, um, if you guys had a spirit animal, and uh, if they were uh, real, <clears throat> uh, what would your spirit animal be? Post it in the comments, let me know. Right, well, on to responses from last week. So last week, we had our tribute to Robin Williams. Nick Glover said, best tribute to Robin Williams I've seen yet. Thanks, Nick, really appreciate that. I bet you saw it on a gigantic screen with wonderful resolution and surround sound and not on a puppeteer's phone uh, in a rock quarry. <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't know, I don't know what I mean. And then we got this one from Sarah Stowe who said, At 1 minute 24 of your video, you say, It's a very Felton tribute to Robin Williams. I challenge you to come up with a better adjective to describe your tribute. And then she goes on and quotes Dead Poet Society, specifically, a man is not very tired, he is exhausted. And don't use very sad, come on Mr. Overstreet, you twerp. Fine. Sarah, here's some adjectives that I could have used instead of a very Felton tribute to Robin Williams. Could have said a wonderful tribute, the greatest Felton tribute, an amazing Felton tribute, the most radical Felton tribute, a follically challenged tribute, a very tiny tribute, yeah, that, 
yeah, that would, yeah. And a grammatically interesting tribute. Anyway, thanks so much for commenting, guys. We really appreciate it. All right, moving on to birthdays. We're doing two weeks of birthdays this week, since we didn't do any last week. This is for August 17th through August 30th. Happy birthday to Q-Tip. Happy birthday to Nicole Stefanik. Happy birthday to Kevin Caulfield. Happy birthday to Brett De Bruin. Happy birthday to Sarah Jane Dibble. Happy birthday to Nathan Gerber. Happy birthday to Alira Bruce. Happy birthday to Tracy Leaf. Happy birthday to Phyllis Red. And happy birthday to Patty, AKA Iona Mudhovel. Happy birthday, everybody. So glad you was born. So glad I could give you a shout out. Mwah. Don't forget to like the Ridiculous Puppet Company on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See all me vlogs and other great videos that we do every now and then. Very now and then. Talking to you. Right, well I've been Lord Felton Harcourt Osgood from at the third. You've been the audience. I've been terrific. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you next Thursday. So I should probably go see a doctor or something since I've got food poisoning. Uh, hey, wait a minute. I was hallucinating. How did me mum know what the dolphin was saying? I, ah! Ow! No! Ooh! Ooh! Not on the jugular! Hey, wait a minute! I just got those eyes replaced!